We were quite a team once upon a time. You keep talking about a detective. Who is she? Someone I left behind. A very long time ago. Seemed like somebody pretty important. More than you could ever know. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the fact that I told him I loved him right before he left. And he didn't exactly say it back. But he did say, it was you, Chloe. It was always you, which is kind of a big deal because he used my name, which is something he never does. Because you made me realize that all my fears that Lucifer had changed were just that. They were fears. What Lucifer and I have is special. It's real, and it doesn't matter how many lies you tell me. I will never lose faith in me and him. Hello, Detective. Thank you for finally agreeing to meet with me, Detective. Oh, 57 phone calls, twice as many texts, the billboard off sunset. Oh, and the ill-conceived stripper well, In my defense, Roberto came highly recommended. Well, Lucifer, I am ready to talk. And yes, thank you for being patient, but I really don't know what you can say that's going to make a difference. I agree. <sighs> Excuse us. Thank you. Whoa, you guys got here fast. Wait, did you guys come together? Uh, no. Uh, Not at the patty? Mm. So the current travels through the wire and into his skin. Now you add sea air and his sweat. All DJs are sick, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the uh, surge protector, it's disconnected. Surge protector, I see. You know, our first kiss was by the water. You remember that? Yes. You know, about what I said earlier, Lucifer. Listen, I have dated guys at work before. But, you know, people talk, and I don't want that. And this, us, you know, we, we don't even know what this is yet, do we? I suppose not. <sighs> you okay? No one would go that far just to be near me. Well, I did go to Helen back a few twice, but who's counting? Lucifer, are you jealous? <laughs> jealous of a man boy who scratches records for a living now who's being absurd? No. Oh. Well, I was hoping we could, um, solve this case uh, before the sun goes down. Like I said, sooner rather than later. Hey, now you can go. I can finish up this audio scrubbing on my own. What do you mean, go? Go where? To Lucifer's. I thought you guys were going to finally, you know, hang out tonight. Mm. Yeah, well, it <clears throat> got postponed. Oh, you're nervous that you won't measure up in bed. I mean, he is pretty experienced. I mean, if I had to put it like in the thousands, probably. But you know what? You got this. You totally got this. You're sexy. Oh, speak of the devil's girlfriend. Hmm. I mean, the thing is, Lucifer and I are something, <laughs> but it's uh, it's new and it, it's complicated. How so? Oh, trust me. It's complicated. Well, it didn't sound very complicated when you were talking back there. I believe the word you used was incredible. So, did you and Lucifer finally get over your issues and under the covers for the old no pants dance? We sure did. Aw, I'm so sorry, Decker. You know, sometimes... Wait, I'm sorry. Rewind. Did you just say yes? Uh-huh. OMG! Oh, I'm, I, I was so ready to have my Decker Star dreams crushed again. Why? Because it's been one bummer after another with you two. I didn't want to get my hopes up. Yeah, I know. I mean, it has been a long road, but, well, here we are. Morning, Detective. Good morning again, Lucifer. <laughs> Did he look in the mirror again? I told him not to do that. <laughs> Lucifer, 
We just got together. You're already finding things to freak out about. I'm not finding anything, Detective. All I've done is lose stuff. Do you realize how long it took for us to get here? We finally have something good going on. I mean, can we please just enjoy it for a minute? Of course. Of course. You at work. See? I told you. Sharing's not that hard. <laughs> There's nothing we can do until he lands. I disagree. <laughs> Lucifer. As fun as it is to watch you use my, I mean, our, but really my mojo, I'd like it back. So let's have sex again, me on top this time. Um, do you really think that's going to work? As if your mojo is some sort of STD. <laughs> well, we have to try something. This is really getting to you, huh? Trust me, it's not like I don't want to have sex with you because I really, really do. But putting this kind of agenda on it, it just sucks all the fun out of it. Yeah, and please do not make a pun right now because I, I am a little worried that you're having such a hard time sharing this with me because relationships are about give and take. Well, that's easy for you to say. So far, it's all I give and you take. I mean emotionally, Lucifer. So couples therapy? When we've been a couple for what, five seconds? <laughs> is definitely not what I meant. I see. But I'm afraid in order for this to work, you both have to be willing to be here. Well, she said she was happy to do this. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. I'm thrilled, actually, to have someone rational weigh in on all of this and agree with this. I mean, Lucifer's being ridiculous, okay? Can you please tell him that it makes zero sense that I stole his mojo during sex? <laughs> okay, well. You don't. But no, it's not like, <laughs> but having sex with someone mm. own, impressive. Shows it sometimes deep, deep. If this is the emotional crutch that you feel you need to deal with the loss of your mojo, then I will do my very best to be understanding. Thank you. <laughs> Not it. I just don't want to rub salt in your wound. Well, obviously, I don't need to rub something else. But, uh, <laughs> we're learning to share, aren't we? Nothing wrong with inserting a little creativity into throat exercises. That is some strong emoji game. Oh, look, it's happening already. Our mojo's working on him. Oh, he called him our mojo. <laughs> now, go on. Go in for the coup de grace. You've got this. Listen, Lucifer, I... I'm sorry you're going through this, but... We are going to figure this out together as a team. Everything's going to be OK, right? I promise. It's just really nice to have somebody in your corner, you know? I don't know, he just makes me go follow up, shall we? I could really use your help out there. <laughs> How can I refuse? <laughs> she doesn't really speak English. Oh. Well, that's not a problem. My wonderful partner here speaks every language. I'm so lucky you're here. Oh, well, also not a problem. My partner is not a cop. Nope. He has many connections. He can grant favors and obviously is very charming. <laughs> He's like my very own Swiss Army knife. Would you please go speak to the lady? Oh, after a build-up like that, how can I refuse? <laughs> Come on. There's monsters robbing people of their lives and there's nothing I can do. Lucifer, you don't have to do this on your own. We're a team, you know? If I hadn't been distracting myself, I should have listened to the detective. <sighs> detective.
have faith in you, brother. Well, you shouldn't. I'm useless without her. Ten! Chloe has been kidnapped. You know, words cannot express this enough, but... Thank you. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. Uh, um, can we talk? Somewhere private? Yeah, of course. Detective, I am so incredibly sorry. For what? For taking so long to find you, for getting you caught up in my family mess, for everything you had to endure with my psycho twin brother. It's for everybody has a weird family. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't fun being kidnapped, but I knew you were out there the whole time looking for me. So right now, I need you to hit the play button because I have a relationship to fix. I 